thank you for buffering your way to uh, the download. I'm Andy Perkham. It is Tuesday, April 24th, two days after Earth Day. Just enough time uh, to let reality sink in that no, Sheryl Crow, this is no one's idea of having some fun. Anyway, speaking of fun, and this is a terrible transition, uh, Keith Richards, 91-year-old mother, died over the weekend, uh, which is good because he was running low. I have no taste. So let's, well, let's go ahead and move on then to uh, the big deal. This does come in handy, though, her nose blowing. Uh, when in Rome, do as this Roman did, to be accurate, though she's from Milan. Uh, she packed light for her trip to the Trevi Fountain. Uh, she went swimming, wearing nothing other than her birthday suit. Uh, she did so to make a point or two. Uh, she says the water is everyone's, though if the water is everyone's, why would you want to swim in it? Uh, plenty of greasy people have done the same thing. Uh, anyway, uh, she was arrested, reclothed, and charged with public indecency because she was not hot enough. Someone go ahead and uh, dust off that Hollywood lowdown animation. Thank you. Time for our daily trip now through Tinseltown. Careful not to trip over Britney's career. Uh, if only we could have been in Eubank, Kentucky last week. That's when the lovely Venus Rainey, uh, so lovely, in fact, she was Miss America 1944. Anyway, that's when she, uh, well, an intruder came to her farm and tried to steal her old farm equipment. Uh, so she balanced herself on her walker and shot out his tires with that there gun. Uh, when asked what... Uh, what she thought of the people who did this, Miss America 1944, hello, said this. Well, they're a bunch of slobs that are too lazy to work. And they're living off of the people's assets who worked hard to earn them. Uh, she could then be talking about this year's crop of contestants, though. You never know. All right, hot click time. The irresistible headline and the video clips that you'll just find right here. So it's rare that a foul in the game of soccer overlaps with a party foul. But when a defender on the Brazilian team was fouled, uh, he gave the ref a, uh, here he goes, uh, it's going to be, uh, why is this in slow motion? Of all things, we need slow mode. Anyways, you'll see he's about to give the guy a peck on the cheek uh, somewhere in there. I don't know what that's all about. Anyways, uh, so he gave the ref a peck on the cheek and was fouled again. Uh, his response, he says he didn't know you couldn't kiss a referee. Everyone in the sport thanks you, though, for clarifying that, buddy. Nice try. All right, then. And now for something completely different. Uh, two Monty Pythoners were there as England beat the world with a new record for the largest coconut orchestra. Yep, more than 5,500 people packed Trafalgar Square to smash the record of 1,800 who they dug up for last one. Uh, anyway, the cast of Spamalot helped lead as everyone clapped their coconuts. Let's take a little listen, shall we? Ah, yes, nice try. And there you have it, the collective stiff upper lip of the Brits smiled ever so much. Woohoo! <laughs> it's more fun than I've ever had with coconuts. Uh, anywho, uh, drop a line if you would anytime. Uh, Andy at the download show.com. That's Andy at the download show.com, you know. Uh, so we leave you with our parting shot. This is cool. The sky was not falling in Northern California. No, this is a hail of golf balls which were purposely dropped from this hovering helicopter over a golf course. It was the only way that I like to play golf. Uh, you do have better chances this way. Um, a thousand of them were dropped right near the hole, closest to the pin. Uh, one, if you got closest to the pin, you actually won. Uh, Howard K. Stern says he definitely won this match. No question. All right, we're out of here. We'll see you tomorrow. Get it closest to the pin thousand drop near the hole. All right, we're out of here. We'll see you tomorrow for more fun and frivolity right here on the download. Four.